What's going on, YouTube? It's Don Jizzle, aka Fifth Scale RC Insanity. I know y'all been waiting for another video, but here it is. Um, I want to welcome the new subscribers. A couple of y'all subscribed. Welcome to the motherfucking channel. Anyway, this video is a little update. I got some goodies. Well, one goodie. I'm going to get some more goodies tomorrow. This this is a uh, um, DDM Dave Discount Motors, and I already cut the package open, and we got the insulator. All right, comes with two uh, gaskets, part number. DDM Billet Aluminum Zenoa 320RC Insulator, part number AV981. Alright, so here you go. Billet, it's the only what color they had. Where I got the red one. I, I need to get a couple more insulators for the Red Cat. I mean, you know, I need to get one more for the Red Cat. Um, I'm gonna just use this for now just to start. I got it wet right now. I put some Yammy Lube on there to seal the cracks. I'm just gonna start it, you know, you or I might see I don't think this one, the old one that comes off this Zenoa uh this uh OBR motor is gonna fit the uh thirty cc uh manifold here. So this is the carburetor I tested out on the Red Cat before this uh, manifold uh, insulator cracked and it was working well. Update on the pull start. <clears throat> yep, I should have bought 10 uh, uh, motherfucking uh, regular pull starts. That damn turtle racing pull start took a shit. I, got, I, I ain't going to lie, I was pulling on it. I was pulling on it trying to get this motor started. And I should I should have just just dealt with the issue at hand, which was the carburetor. I will admit that. But it should have took no shit. I'm only pulling it, even though this is a high compression motor. You know what I'm saying? I think that that's the problem with those. And plus, they got a, like a plastic cog in there. It should have, and they sell chrome cogs. So they setting that shit up for fail. The spring slips off the plastic cog. When you're pulling it. So I'm going to order a chrome. It's already got it. I'm going to pay for it. It's 14 bucks for the chrome cog. I sent the. I'm going to order that chrome cog. Let me finish my thought. I'm going to order that chrome cog. I already sent it back to them. So they're going to whatever. Probably send me another one. I need I need to get in contact with them. Say that go ahead and throw the, coat, the chrome cog in there. Before you send this. You need a, a new one. Or whatever you're going to do. Um, so I took the dogs out of here. I took everything and the, the screws that went in here. They, when you when you when you tighten them up, they uh they snapped. They snapped. These little screws right here. These are these are these aren't the ones, but these screws that hold the flywheel on, they're so shitty they snapped. So I sent them back to snap screws too. Like yeah, this fucking thing snapped, man. Um. So, I'm waiting on that. They probably get that Monday, and then whatever. I ain't gonna get a pull start for this. I try to rebuild my my other pull starts, but the disc that holds the spring they're cracked, I guess. So they always come out. So I got an issue with that. Should have bought ten. What was it hundred nineteen dollars? Ten. I should have bought uh, twelve pull starts. I would have been better off than buying one of that that DDM turtle racing shit. Um, if you do buy one, make sure you just lube it. It needs to be highly lubed inside the spring. That's, that's the problem. It, uh, when you extend it all the way out, it does not, uh, come back in. And I done took this engine off 40, 40, 4,800 times on and off. Cause you can't pull off the pull start while, um, the engine is, um, 
on the on the vehicle. So <clears throat> the vehicle here. Tomorrow I ordered. I got the aluminum uh, uh, steering kit coming in, dual steering. So I'm gonna be taking this all this horn off and putting a dual steering on uh, this tomorrow. I'm also rebuilding. I'm a, I'm a this um, fuel tank. This little grommet here. This 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 wire. This uh, tube is already hard as a. Uh, Hard as a, a rock stone. So what I'm gonna do is I have bought some brake line. Instead of paying twenty dollars a full force, whoever sells the the high performance, whatever, I bought some brake line. First off, it's uh it's made in the U.S. of A. Michigan, Muskegon, Michigan, and this is some um. 3 16 by 8 inches, uh, 4.8 millimeter by 20.3 centimeters steel line. This is actually a brake line, it's like two bucks. So it's about uh, 8 inches, 10 inches long. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this it's steel. I don't know if you can see. It's hollow. Anyway, it's a brake line. Um, steel, about two bucks. I'm going to cut this and make my own little high performance flow. I got some, um, got some tubing here. I got some tubing here. And I'm going to make my own. Uh, um, I'm going to make my own uh, high performance um, uh, fuel line. Um, so that's pretty much, that's pretty much it for now. I did fix the Super B. I did fix that. Yeah, I did. Uh, I did fix the Super B kill switch. All that damn killer controller and all that. So I'm gonna take this off tomorrow when it comes in, the aluminum, rebuild the front uh, steering with the dual, put the dual dual arms on there. I got another arm over here. I think it even comes with an arm. And uh Trying to de anonize this orange. I had to kind of sand this shit off and didn't come out. I tried to I tried the uh the easy off oven cleaner, but um I still gotta buff this out and still working on that. But I've been in school, you know what I'm saying? And man, I got a I got a book, I got a book this this thick here, you know what I'm saying? So it takes up a lot of my time and I'm tired. I don't, I don't feel like making the fucking videos. Try to learn this motherfucking shit. This is the best thing that came with the damn pull starts is this uh, turtle racing shit. Here's the uh, steering. Here's the steering for the uh, for tomorrow. I was wondering where this. I was wondering where this other little grommet went. I got it over here. I was like, what the? I might try to fit a ball bearing in there or something. I don't know. Modify it some kind of way. I need to start working on this little uh, this old Red Cat engine. I need to clean it up and so so HY engine here, still good, no leaks. Red Cat little update. So I redid the shocks. 
They were all redid and everything. Filled properly, clean. They're on. So I'm gonna get that grommet, I mean that uh, insulator, put it on here, fire up. She's ready to go once I get that insulator. Or I might just try this insulator tomorrow, see how it is, I don't know. I might even try to see if this one fit. I don't think it's gonna fit on there, but we'll, we'll try. And uh, I'm gonna fire this up tomorrow. Fire this up tomorrow. Spill some oil and some uh, gas up in this gym. Had these gas tubes dangling the wrong way and they spilled all in here. So I'm gonna fire this cat up tomorrow and get her going. Still, this engine is still, is brand new. It's a brand new engine. It came with the X2 and I put it in here. And so I'm still kind of just breaking this engine and I'll run it a little soft tomorrow. And uh, I won't really dog it, dog on it. But this cat is ready to go. The springs is all rebuilt. The roll cage, I still got the plastic roll cage. I had to cut this one. This is a gunmetal one here. I had to cut it to fit that pipe right there. This pipe, this pipe down here. The pipe is fractured. It it's it's so thin this material. So um yeah, so I got the plastic roll cage for it. I gotta throw that back on. I ain't gonna be running so hard where it's gonna flip anyway. So anyway, back to this. So you know, yeah, I done had to take the I'm thinking about getting another chassis for this. Another chassis. One of them seven, 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 seventy, seventy-five joints. Um and I think the next thing we'll order is the uh, arms, casting arms and steering ties, caster, caster arm back here. And then um, the aluminum A arms, probably another gas tank. And I need I need to build a bigger radio box, so I want to reposition this box somewhere, figure out where I can reposition it, and or just buy a whole nother tray. I want to get a whole nother tray uh, here also, aluminum bumper, and I'm pretty much done with it. Oh yeah, some. Some hubs in here, like the the, the uh, spindle hubs, and I'll be done with this. I'll put an A arms in the back, not in the front. But I might just buy the front ones, just whatever. But I need some give in the front, but the back ones I'm gonna put all aluminum. And um, then I'm gonna be working on my next build. Next build I got, I'm getting that in, what's the day? We're getting that in a couple weeks, like about maybe a month, four weeks, the end of February. I'll be getting, um, um, I'm just, I'm just waiting on, they don't have, the, they don't have what I want. So I'm not buying, you could pre-order it, but I, I, don't, I don't go for that. So I'm, I'm, uh. I'm waiting on them to get it in and then I'll, I'll buy it. And um, uh, you just get everything at one time, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm waiting on. Um, yeah, I need to fix these here, these socks. Pull up these socks, dang them socks. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm waiting to do this next build, so I'm just gonna, and and, and then, you know, I'm waiting on, uh, also I'm trying to get that reed motor, but I don't think they are gonna have that reed motor ready by when I get this built. So I need to, um, 
I wanted to buy everything at one time. The radio, the parts I want to put on the build, that new motor, throw that new motor in here. I might just get that um, 46, 47, whatever, and throw it in here. It's a sale going on right now. So tempted to buy, to buy that 46 right now for the 899, you don't even understand. That thing, 899. I could, you know what I mean? I could get that joker right now. But I want that reed case. I want that reed motor. All these, I got three motors here and they're all regular. I need to get a reed motor. So that's, that's the real, the main reason why I'm waiting. So uh, I'm going to try a reed, a reed motor out. But uh, this red can, I had, I had, Put some lights. <coughs> I got some lights in here. See these little studs right here? I got a light kit for this cat right here, front and rear, but it don't fit. It don't I gotta resolder it to make it longer? It doesn't fit the, all the way to the back. Here, <coughs> killer controller, extra uh, extension arm. Um, Extend extensions. Here's the killer controller. Still good. So high high velocity stack. Got some DDM plugs here. EE six ninety nines and those six twenty plug caps. I forgot to order. I need to do that tonight. I forgot to order this uh this um this cast the splint wrap to go in here. I'm gonna to to re fortify this and I'm gonna I'm gonna rebody wrap the whole thing. Fucking boost bottles. Ever since I put those boost bottles on that engine, I've been having problems. You can buy them shits if you want to. Those shits is 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 for the fucking birds. That shit is that shit is trash <laughs> for RC cars. They don't need them. They look cool though. Looks they look good. To put that shit on your engine, you be you crazy as hell. Learn learn from your mistakes. That's why you know a lot of this is trial and error. You know what I mean? Like that turtle racing um pull start was a. Uh, $119 lesson plus shipping and I didn't even use the DDM code for get 5% off. So, you know what I mean? Like $125 and I uh, I could have bought 10 pull starts. I, I didn't even it might have started this engine one time. Didn't even wasn't even worth it. This here this is worth it I guess because you only got to buy this one time. For this engine, you ain't, you ain't got a uh, forty bucks. That, that's how much that was, thirty nine ninety nine. And then, um, you know, it was uh, it's they're all lessons. You know what I'm saying? All lessons, all lessons that you learn. You know what I mean? I've learned a whole lot of lessons. It teaches you in life, you know what I mean? It teaches you. Um, like this uh, FID. Um, this thing right here, that, that was a lesson. You know what I mean? It was like, you know, it, it, it's kind of like I'm going down unbeaten path. I don't really see anybody with them. And I thought having a two-speed would have been a... With, is, is a cool idea. I got to take this out anyway because I ain't got the front hooked up. I was trying to start the motor. That's why I didn't hook the front up because the linkage is all fucked up here. But, um, I mean, the, the steering. So I was trying to start the motor and I put this back together. And um, I'm going to take this off anyway. But every time I rent, go to wrench this down, it, you see these 
they're kind of tight. It shouldn't be that tight. Now if I go to, if I loosen it up, if I loosen it, 